Hi everyone, welcome back to the CRM ones. Uh, today I will go, I'm going to explain okay how to sync the signed documents from DocuSign system to Dynamics 365 CRM uh, using a console application. So first thing let me explain recap these previous sessions what we are discussed okay so in our uh, in the previous uh, videos so we have discussed like a, the scenario so we are taking a complete scenario here so how the scenario is here this opportunity records where you need the uh, opportunity documents you need the digital sign from the customer so here this technically we have selected the DocuSign. So this DocuSign the main purpose where we can send the documents to the customers and we can get the digital signature from them. So in the first video we discussed how we can install how we can configure in our Dynamics 365 and second scenario. So based upon our conditions how we can automate this sending the documents you're using a plugin and DocuSign API and now in this thoughts uh, thought video we are going to discuss so how we can sync the signed documents from DocuSign to the CRM application so this is a where we can get the complete uh, cycle of this require this scenario okay okay so here in this uh, syncing the doc signed documents to the doc sign system to the CRM. So first I will explain. So from which opportunity I'm going to run this console application and how it will be synced from their uh, doc sign system to the CRM. First I will run this code and I will show it to you and then I will explain the code. Yes. Yes. So this is the opportunity record. So for this opportunity record under notes, we have a one document and this document is sent for the approver. Okay. So here we can find this DocuSign transaction under this DocuSign transaction. It is sent to this one person. It is a DocuSign activity. It's got created and status is created. So it is in CRM side in the in our plugin. We have created here one record. So this signed document. So in this example, the customer is signed signed documents. That means completed documents. So it will be in here in the DocuSign system. So you can go to here and it is signed. So here signed once it is signed means once it's approved. So if you open that record. Okay. And here we can see who is approver and what the document is approved documents this all the things we can able to get it from here but this these documents will be stored in a in a docusign system but now how we want to sync it to the document because uh, at the end our crm sales persons or or marketing persons so they won't able to uh, sign into the docusign application right they will get a crm only access so as a developer it's our responsibility to sync sync these documents back to the CRM for which are the op opportunity they have signed it. Okay, so now this is a uh, like a, since we have sent the DocuSign document through our API. So it won't sync automatically to the CRM application since we already we are doing with this custom coding. Okay. So for this purpose, so uh, what I have implemented here, I have written on console application. So this console application we can able to schedule uh, in a in a periodically. So it's periodically it will run and it will read this all the doc signed documents and it will create a notes. Okay, notes and a, a doc signed document will be attached for respective record. So here, this is a console application I have written. So in this console application, so app.config, we have to change the connection strings. So here, the DocuSign server information, I am hard, 
I am reading from the config configuration. So here we have to give a which DocuSign server and what is the API version we are using and which is the DocuSign user and what is the DocuSign password and what is the integration key for the DocuSign. Okay. And here this is my CRM trial instance. So what the CRM instance we have here and username and password. So I'm just con I'm reading from the here. So console application. So execution will start from the main method. Okay. So in the starting of this main method. So I'm reading this all the uh, app.config settings from the DocuSign. And here this is the method in the DocuSign. I have, I have created a API class helper class. So in this method, I am okay. So I am connecting with the DocuSign application. So here by user username and password with the integration key. So I am connecting with the DocuSign. So once you authenticate with the DocuSign, so then we need to get the access token. So there is a class here. So I have sorry, there is a method I have created. So this is a method obtaining a authorization token. So this method will give the access authorization token to us access token to us. So once you have a access token. So then uh, I'm there. I have written a here. So from I'm taking a like a minus one. I'm taking a date. So from today we are running from previous from yesterday onwards. What are the records is approved those records I am taking and here I am processing. Okay, I am processing these records. Okay, so which are the records are status is completed. I am reading those records from the DocuSign. So let me go to the here inside of this method. So inside of this method. So here we have a query. So this is a DocuSign query items. So here we have these are the fields from date. Okay, from date which date I am passing from today date. Okay, sorry from yesterday date. Today I am running and mail status from. So from it is a from created at current status it is. Okay, it's completed. So the, with this query. Whatever the records are come to that from a DocuSign, I am reading this all the records. It will give a JSON result, JSON array. Okay. So here I am looping. I am reading this all the documents and I am attaching to the okay envelope. So at the right, at the end envelope, I am returning back as a result. So once we have a result envelope as a result here. Okay, here we will get all the envelopes. So now here in the below I am connecting to the CRM. Okay, if the envelopes is is greater than zero that count is greater than zero. I'm connecting to the CRM and here I am processing. Okay, so here I'm getting all these status. So whichever is completed uh, in this method. So I'm reading this all the envelopes. So DocuSign transactions records I'm reading whichever it's created and status is not completed. Okay, so those all the records I'm taking and these records I'm looping one by one here. So whichever the DocuSign transactions is, is in a created status, but it's not completed. So I'm looping and here one by one which are the status is completed from our envelopes which are data we read from a uh, DocuSign. So I'm looping and I'm creating here nodes for this opportunity. Okay and also I'm attaching the document uh, to that opportunity only to that nodes. Okay so overall so this is a way we can sync the uh, documents from DocuSign to the CRM. So let me run and I will show you how it will work. So if I run this one,
so in the background it is run so now i can go back to this opportunity okay and i can show it to you refresh and i will show it to you so here you can see the status so this document status is completed docusign status is completed okay docusign transaction this activity is completed so previously it is in created and now it's completed so now we can go back and we can see under nodes so now here you can see it is a signed document it is attached right so like this we can sync back the whatever this docu sign sign documents we can sync it to the respective opportunity okay i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video so if you need any help on the docu sign related please uh, feel free to contact us okay and if you need this source code we are uh, we are happy to share with you so you can just send me a mail or you can ping me in my whatsapp my number you can take it from my website okay. thank you guys for watching this video